Hey everyone, if you want to see how I did this makeup look, stay tuned. I kind of had a hard time with my winged liner. Also, I am, did I just say liner? <laughs> also, I'm wearing some false eyelashes and that's a first for me. And that was super hard for me to do, but you have to start somewhere. I hope you stay tuned and enjoy getting ready with me. So first thing I'm going to do is just clip back my hair. Um, I did prep my skin when I got out of the shower with Nutri Organic Smoothing Night Cream. Um, I do have dry skin so I went for a thicker cream and this is a couple hours ago so it set into my skin. I don't have a whole bunch of lotion sitting on my skin as well as I moisturized with my Blueberry EOS and also that was a while ago so it kind of sets into my skin and doesn't interfere with my lip gunk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my baby skin and my Feeling Younger Skin Tint by Lush and my Beauty Blender. So I'm going to take a glob about like this. Um, what this is, it's just kind of a luminizer. Would that be the right word? It is a highlighter. It's almost like a shimmer that reflects light so that you look more flawless. So who can argue with that? Um, and my baby skin pore eraser just all over my face. If you have greasy skin, this probably won't be a good primer. You would probably want to find something that is water-based. And I put too much on there, but I'm just going to live with it. For my foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. It's a pretty good foundation and it claims to have the Opti Blur technology kind of making you look more flawless and I do actually think that is true. I do think that I look a tiny bit better. So I'm just going to dab that in. You can also use your hands if you want. You don't have to use a beauty blender by any means. Next, I'm going to mix my two Rimmel uh, concealers together. The one is the Match Perfection and the one is Wake Me Up. I actually thought that this one would be my favorite, but this one is, except that I feel like I really have to dunk the applicator in there like 20 times to get enough product to make me happy. It just seems like the applicator doesn't really grab all that much. I'm going to bring this highlight down to about my nose. That's going to be up to your personal preference. If, if you just want to conceal your under eye circles, that's totally up to you. Down to my nose and then kind of up towards my temples. And I get around my nose because I do have a little bit of redness there and then again up to my temples. Uh, the problem with this one is I just have inconsistencies with the applicator as well. So actually both of them don't have the best application process for me. The product does work for me with minimal creasing, which is why I continue to use it. Just blend that out. And then just with the excess on my sponge, I'm just going to highlight my forehead and just kind of like down the middle, I guess. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to set everything. This is my next day matte but not flat powder. I'm really not picky about powders. I haven't ever found one that really does anything to really blow me away. Um, if you have a really good one listed down below, I'm always on the lookout. Actually, that's not true. I used to really enjoy the CoverGirl um, Translucent Medium and I stopped using that for some reason because I didn't like the applicators, but since then I have changed to using a brush, so maybe I should check that out again. Next up, I'm going to the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Uh, this one does have a bit of glitter, so really I shouldn't be contouring with it. Um, so I won't be running this across my nose. Do you enjoy this muddiness I got on my cheek there? What happened there? I have to clean that up. I think just the easiest way would be just to take my beauty blender and buff that little area out. I'm going to put some into my temples, some around my hairline and forehead, and just under my chin. Like I said, don't contour with glitter. I don't listen to myself. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. blush palette. This one is in the color dark. It has really nice colors and they're great for fall. Um, the opacity in this is actually pretty crazy because of that I'm taking a smaller brush on purpose. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. Just into this like nice fleshy tone here. 
nothing too crazy. Just little dabs. You can bring that up to your temples too to make the look cohesive. Next is my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. I actually dropped this and the whole dome part of this broke off. It used to have like a mounding thing. Anyway, so this one is in the pink diamonds. Oh man, I broke the lid off of this one. I've broken like four of these now. And then I have to check them out. And down the center of my nose and just on my cupid's bow. Actually, one of my favorite places is to highlight my nose. Next, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm not 100% good with just freestyling with my gel products, so I do kind of do the outside of my brows and then fill in because it's easier for me. I'll be using my Annabelle eyebrow, but only because I just ran out of my NYC. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Outline the shape that I want for my eyebrows. So I don't like this pencil. It seems very dark or like gooey when I use it to fill in my whole brow. It's just very sticky and tends to look really fake. Like I drew on my eyebrow, which I am. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, it takes away all the realistic out of it I don't know maybe I can show you on my hand it's just a very thick gooey liner um, the point doesn't push back very hard so it dispenses a lot of product and takes away the realistic abilities of your brows now I'm gonna go in with my NYX eyebrow gel so here is kind of this swatch it's right here I'm gonna be using my elf small and gold brush once this stuff sets it's on there pretty good so if you live in a humid climate if you have oily skin um, anything like that this is definitely going to be in your favor the only thing that I will say about this as well is that it kind of sits on top of your brows. I know it says gel, but it can get kind of crunchy. So I do notice it on my brows when it's there, if that makes sense. Going in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this one is in the color Ash, and I just like to use the gel side over here concealer brush also by e.l.f. and I just like to fill in the start of my brows with this product. I just drag it along the bottom and then kind of flick it up and kind of just blend the two together. Next I'm going to get the high definition shadow and just pop that onto my lid. You can use your finger just to rub that in. I'm just gonna use my Beauty of Wanda. My waterline, I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandal Eyes and I'm going to do the upper and half of the bottom and then my Wonder Pencil on the inner corners of the eyes just to open them back up. be referring to my neutral side of my Smashbox uh, palette. I'll list down below the swatches for this palette if you're interested. Vanilla all over the flirt in the tear ducts. Ambient for the copper color in the middle of my lid and the bottom lash line. And then I use Sienna in the outer corner and across the top of the lid with the kind of left over left on the brush. And Nude was my transition color. So here is Vanilla and Flirt, Ambient, Sienna, and Nude. I'm going to go in with Vanilla and just swipe that all over my lid. And I'm using a goldish color and I'm just going to dab that into, or more of a copper penny color I'd say. 
I'm gonna pop that into the center just like that I'm just cleaning off my brush I have a little towel down here I'm gonna go in with the color flirt and just put that in the very beginning and in the tear duct you can see how much fallout there is I totally forgot I'm gonna have to very carefully remove the access since I already did my foundation and then I'm gonna transition with the color nude just gonna pop that into my crease and then I'm gonna take sienna and put it on the corner and buff that out. I'm just going to use my pencil brush. Then I'm just going to pop a little bit of the ambient underneath my eye, that copper color. I'm gently going to sweep away the fallout and then I'm just gonna grab my Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. I'm actually gonna try um, lashes. I don't usually wear lashes and it might be a huge fail so we'll fail together. For me the flick is easier when I draw down. My flick actually ended up quite large as you can see, um, mostly due to the fact that I couldn't get that top fine. It might have to do with the pencil or the fact that I have a heavy hand. <laughs> so my two sides will never be the same, that's just the way it is. Uh, next I'm grabbing my Scandal Eyes Rockin' Curves. I'm just going to pop in one quick layer. Next I have these eyelashes, they're literally from the dollar store since I don't have that much faith in myself. They are called Lori and they don't actually have a number on them. I know it says a number here but I have another pair that looks different and they have the same number. Sorry. And I'm going to take my NYX Stuck On You Jet Black um, Adhesive and I'm going to apply that to them and let them set. I do like the look of them though, they are finer, they're not like drag queenish. I'm not going to measure them to my eye like other people do because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to drag it through the glue and let it dry for a little bit. I'm not sure what side goes on what side, they kind of look the same. Setting let's do our lips. This is the NYX lip liner and it is in the color 10 natural and it is right here. Lining my lips and filling them in at the same time. Grabbing my e.l.f. matte lip color. This is in the color praline if I'm saying that right and it is just right there. I can tell you I am not impressed with this wing. I do have a scar on that side of the eye. I fell and I had stitches there. 11 stitches. So it kind of, it's like drawing on a cement sidewalk with chalk, it kind of skips. So I'm gonna take my lash, take a breath. <laughs> I do like the eyelash, but it's not quite touching my eyelashes, so that is also a fail. Let's see if I can learn better on the other side. Watched about a hundred videos on applying eyelashes, and let me tell you. There comes a point where a person just has to start doing it. I thought it was going so well. Maybe that my glue is too wet. Tweezers. 
I would definitely say it is easier with tweezers. The end of this one won't stick down, however. I know it's far from perfect. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mwah.